Hello everyone, uh, back with another cool thing we make video. We're gonna talk about the breather adapters for the RB26 valve covers. Uh, if you're like me, you've probably been buying these guys off eBay for a few years. These fit awesome. They don't. Uh, so these are annoying, you have to glue them in, uh, mess around with them, do something, they always fit real loose, they pop off. No matter what you do, unless you glue them, they always pop off. So I was getting frustrated with it, so I came up with a new version of it. This is our version of it. It is an interference fit that starts to go in straight and then about halfway through it gets tight. And all you gotta do is tap it in uh, with a little bit of silicone and it stays tight, it doesn't pop off, and it, it holds tight enough for you to torque the fitting down. I make them in anodized black and just a machine finish. Alrighty, that's how it's supposed to look. And now I'm gonna teach you how to get there. So, uh, first thing you wanna do is you wanna put a little bit of sealant around it. Um, I like to use Toyota Fibbage. Uh, it's black, so in this case we have black fitting, so it works out well. Uh, but any, any oil safe sealant's gonna work. Take your finger, just make sure you get an even coat around it, like that. You put it in. Um, so if you're using a soft blow hammer, you can technically hit, 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 hit on this and it'll go in no problem. Uh, and it, chances are it won't mess up the threads, but if you have a dash 10 cap or like an old dash 10 fitting uh, that you can use for this, my recommendation would be to actually thread it on, uh, get it to bottom out, make contact, and that's gonna protect your threads as you hit it uh, with the hammer. Once you have that set up, you literally just tap it in place. That's it. Um, there's some other ones out there that are next to impossible to just tap them in like that. You have to literally press them in. Uh, the reason I went with this interference fit is because this is more than enough for it to work. It's going to hold it. It's going to keep it tight. Uh, the sealant is going to keep anything from leaking out. And you can do this in the car because it's so simple to do. Uh, some of the ones out there, they're just so hard to get in, you cannot put them in the car. So what we'll do now is I'm actually going to go to a skyline uh, that's getting a set of these and show you how easy it is to do it in the car. Uh, this car has our billet uh, radiator brackets, our billet center cover. Um, hasn't had anything done to it yet, but we're gonna get this actually engraved shortly. And now, let's put on our breather. This one's gonna get the machine finish. So step one, like we spoke about earlier, is gonna be just to put a small amount of sealant on it. Bring it around 360 degrees. It does not need to be a lot. Put it on there. We're gonna take our cap. Simply going to hammer in. That simple. Um, with that little bit of force there, you can put the fittings on, torque them back, it's not going to turn. This is a good angle, you can see the four cars that I work on. Done. It's a great picture right there.